conversation about how we playing radio's game. Khaled, you a real nigga. Khaled, you a real nigga. You got the keys. But as we learn all the politics that niggas is doing for years, Obama couldn't make America great because he couldn't be him to be who he was. Black men have been slaves. Obama wasn't allowed to do this. Well, somebody look at your neighbor and say she finna bring it tonight. I said, look at your neighbor and say she finna bring it tonight. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I'm about to jump right into it because that's how we do it over here. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Look at your neighbor and say, I ain't no killer, but don't push me, God. Oh, my, my. Honey, Jay-Z.
He might sit back like he quiet and copacetic and that he don't get loud and obnoxious. And maybe he does not. But I tell you one motherfucking thing. That motherfucker got goons out there. I said that motherfucker got goons out there that will take care of the problem and he ain't got to get his hands dirty by no means. I'm going to say this, Kanye West, what he did on that stage is a cry out for help. Dave Chappelle, listen to me. Honey, he was talking about Martin Lawrence and he said, what make a man go stand on the streets and yell out, they trying to kill me. They trying to kill me. Kanye West ain't crazy. It's some shit going down that we don't know the fuck about. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. He was talking, as y'all listened to that clip that I played earlier, because I wanted y'all to hear what he was saying instead of having to go find the video for yourselves. I wanted y'all to hear that so y'all can go back and rewind if y'all need. Okay? And he, he said something about a phone call. Like, he tried to... Like, Jay-Z won't call him. Jay-Z won't call him. Otherwise, he probably trying to say, I hear shit going around on these motherfucking streets. Now, if Jay-Z going to do something to me and he got a problem with me, then why won't this motherfucker reach out to me? Honey, Kanye West, when he went on that stage, that was a cry for help. Because guess what? When you speak truth, guess what? You are marked for death. Honey, you, you can't be in this industry. You can't coon for these motherfucking crackers and think huh, that guess what? You can't be touched when you're playing in a playground. Guess what? They manage that. That stay shit. So they look at you like you really ain't shit but a coon ass nigga making their money. Okay? I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that again. They look at you like a coon just making they are motherfucking money. Now, Kanye West, just like Cat Williams, they speak a whole lot of truth. I don't know if y'all caught that yet or not. And guess what? Everybody who speak truth like that, they will break your motherfucking ass down. Look at DMX. He's near death. Yeah, near, near fucking death. DMX. They broke that motherfucker down. I'm going to tell you this. Y'all better keep your eyes open because something fishy is going the fuck down. I said something fishy is going the fuck down. Honey, and it's time for us to pick them bones out. Pick those bones out. Honey, so we can eat this motherfucking fish. So we can figure out what the hell's going on. Okay? Because at the end of the motherfucking day, I'm going to say this. Honey, Jay-Z... He's going to retaliate. And that motherfucker is coming to spray. Trust and believe me. Something is finna go down with Kanye. And guess what? Keep your eyes open now. Something finna go down with him. And they going to get the one that's closest to him. Who the fuck do you think that is? You damn motherfucking right. Kim Kardashian West.